I'm going to give you guys some free Real Ninja insights on Naruto Storm 4. These are valuable insights coming from your boy, Anime Analyst. Just think of them as free chicken samples at the mall, fam. Chapter 1, let's go. The save replay feature from Naruto Generations is making a return in Naruto Storm 4. You know that little notification menu that came up to ask you, if you want to save this battle, please click yes or no. And then you had the little library and you brought the little tokens and shit to be able to save your replays even though we got finesse because why do you need tokens to fucking save your replays but whatever that is making a return in naruto storm 4 i really don't see the purpose even though it's less stressful because we have the share button now and you know how everybody uses the share button and we got all these share button youtubers and all these share button gangsters out in these fucking streets so we got we already got a lot of people using the share button but you know hey they just threw the replay feature back in there even though we already have the share button but uh, i probably would have enjoyed that feature more if it was in naruto revolution armor break well the armor break system in naruto storm 4 it's actually more detailed than we actually thought armor break is unique for each and every character from what i've seen from the gameplay so that means like each character they look different battle damage it's not just some generic battle damage that happens to each character like a few scratches and a certain piece comes off every character has like a unique uh armor break that makes it look kind of raw the rawest one that i've saw seen so far is probably kisame because he actually gets his whole akatsuki cloak taken off and he just looks like some raw fish man from fucking uh from a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card or something i don't know what i'm trying to say is armor break is raw as hell and i really didn't know that we armor break gonna be raw as hell especially my boy toby rama with the armor break with the blue tape uh navy suit underneath the armor that shit gonna look raw most of you already know this but the new particle effects and like the little miscellaneous uh terrain effects some shits are actually pretty raw i actually like very clearly saw that that shit was raw when i saw in some new gameplay that minato when he spins around and does the rasengan edo minato he actually has like a streak of blue chakra coming from the rasengan that spins around with him so that kind of shows like the movement of chakra chakra is not just some stiff ass fucking uh energy it's like it actually moves around when you move the shit so yeah that actually looks cool i think they added a crease sound effects you know why because i was looking at some new game play of course and i saw that when rock lee was kicking somebody's ass like these kicks like that man was giving them kicks out and like it actually sounded like a legit high quality kick sound it didn't sound like some generic psh, 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 psh. and that shit actually sounded like somebody was getting like kicked in like some high quality taekwondo game or some shit like that team awakenings are making a debut in naruto storm 4 this is exclusive to naruto and sasuke right now the kurama no aka kurama encased in a susano is the only team awakening that will be in naruto storm 4 so you can expect to see our rank that's naruto sasuke op as hell combo just because motherfuckers want a team awaken and she that kurama yo Also, I want to make a little public service announcement. If you buy this, that's an instant L. That's just an L. I've been seeing a new trend in the Naruto games where I saw on a V jump scan. Actually, they're throwing in a whole bunch of people in these team secret techniques that aren't even on your team. Like we saw with the Hugo Ultimate Jutsu even though it's only three people in your team uh hiyashi comes out and actually helps the hugo clan with their air palm whatever fuck that was also it's been shown in the v jump that the jin Cherokee have a team ultimate jutsu and that koski have a team ultimate jutsu and since there can only be three people on a team that means that random other motherfuckers are just jumping in in the middle of the battle in your cutscene and just helping out so i mean i guess that's a new thing they're doing i'm calling it swarm secret techniques so i mean it, it looks cool regardless I'm, i don't really care uh one last thing ren about useless as fuck What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck is that? I'm scared!
What's going on, people? Anime analyst, I got some new gameplay for Storm 4. Um, kind of various characters in this gameplay. Um, I think Toby Ramo was even in here, so that was cool for me. So, I just want you guys to enjoy this. It kind of get, lets you get a feel of how the game works. I think there's some solid and shit like that, so it should be pretty interesting to watch. Uh, check it out later.